For the first time since 2019, the Latinx Youth Conference made its, its in-person return for hundreds of students from two dozen Kent County schools. News 8's Tom Hillen joins us now with what the goal of this conference is. Tom? Hey, Emily. The goal is not just to tell the students they can be anything they want to be, but also show them. I would say that again, um, this is a great event for our Latino students. But they don't see or have many opportunities to connect with the Latino leaders. And so our goal is to again, provide that space to these eighth graders to see themselves. More than 700 Latinx eighth grade students descended onto the campus of GRCC today to see what their future could look like. We have different breakout sessions that focus on Latinidad, you know, which what, what it means to be Latino in um, embracing our culture. Other breakout sessions focused on post-secondary education, not just those four-year universities, but also different certifications or trade schools that any of the students may be interested in. There were two specific sessions the students asked for. Banking is another um, area of priority that the kids want to learn about, so we have a couple of sessions for banking. And then um, another thing that they requested was um, workshops around mental health and well-being. Noemi Tobar Ariano has been involved since the conference started back in 1999. She says it's events like this that can make all the difference for some of the kids. The goal is the same, is to make these kids know that they are important, that there is a world of possibilities for them. And for Noemi, when she looks at today, the future of the Latinx community in West Michigan looks bright. When I look at the crowd, I get goosebumps myself because I know I see my future doctors, future lawyers, future teachers. More than 100 volunteers were involved to pull off today's event. Also, four kids got $1,000 scholarships today that they can use for any sort of further education. Emily?